we do hear a lot about diversifying our economy. What are some industries that you want to see um, promoted? We have to make sure that we concentrate, that our emphasis is on local businesses and our local economy. If we don't, we're never going to have any diversification. But when it comes to diversification, it's about, again, having those shingles out saying we're open to business, and people now are going to be comfortable, whether they come from outside or within, to not only um, expand and develop, but to you know, hit the, I guess you could say, playing to what, what our strengths are. And our strengths in Hawaii are marine biology, right? It is about, you know, I believe the film industry is a big part of our diversification. I, I feel like astronomy and, and space travel actually is a big part of it. I will say this, we have to diversify our economy. So we have the military and tourism, of course, but we are really intent on making sure there's another leg to this economy. I think it's going to be agriculture and clean energy. So we'll be putting in subsidies for agriculture so that we can have water safe agriculture, uh, use a lot less, use like 90% less water and actually grow food products in the state of Hawaii and also do these clean energy projects so we meet these goals that we have, which are very ambitious. And finally, what is your get out to vote message for Hawaii's voters? What drives me is the fact that we had I believe it's 511,771 people who were registered to vote and didn't vote. That's 60% of the registered voters who didn't vote. So are there, enough, are there enough votes out there? Absolutely. Why didn't those people vote? And when you only have 40% of the people voting and 50% plus one determines who your ne next you know, representative is going to be, that means 20% of the registered voters are determining who that person is. That is disturbing. That needs to be challenged. And we, as the candidates, have to challenge that. And we, I think, as a collective community, have to challenge everybody who's registered to vote and didn't vote. That's so important. And I can't emphasize that enough. And if there's anything that gets out of, I get out from this interview, I hope that's it. People out there who are registered to vote, please vote. Now, obviously, I'd love you to vote for me, but I hope you can vote. And when you vote, just make sure that you do it intelligently. You know, check it out. You know, see who you're voting for, what they stand for, not just from a website, but if you can, get out there, attend rallies. We got, we got rallies almost every day, okay? We're out there talking every day. We got a website. You can go to our website and ask a question or ask to come and meet us. You can do all of that. I urge you all to do that. Why? Because it's that important. It needs to be done. Well, we, we need hope for the future. That's what I say to people. Sylvia and I bring a lot of hope for the voters of Hawaii. We are really a dynamic duo. And I would just say this, we need leaders that we can trust, that care about people. I hope as a physician leader, people have gotten to know me, whether it was because we dealt with the COVID crisis better than any other state, or because we've actually really focused on the right issues. So I look at people and just say, trust that we bring a fresh leadership and a fresh perspective. After years and years of kind of quiet leadership, we're gonna be quite dynamic. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to bring my family into the mix here. I'm excited to see uh, Representative Luke become our next Lieutenant Governor if people will have us. I would just say this, we have a lot of hope for the future. And so I'd ask everyone to come vote and humbly I'd like to ask for their support.